2020 was a time none of us will soon forget. It was a year when we learned of the importance of our community. Almost instantly, area nonprofits saw their donations decrease, but the needs and expenses skyrocket. Way 31 teamed up with Toyota Motor Manufacturing and the Huntsville Chamber of Commerce to answer the call of our community, the Take 5 to Give 5 initiative. We're seeing it every night on the news. The effects of coronavirus are being felt all across North Alabama. Some of the nonprofit agencies that are caring for those in need are hurting right now. Take five minutes and go to communityfoundationhsv.org slash COVID and donate. Let's come together to support the services that provide so much to our community. We're all in this together and together we can make a difference. Take five to give five. Way 31 went out into the community with frontline workers to bring attention to the needs of our nonprofits serving our community in the middle of a pandemic. Our community is hurting. We have many nonprofits who are out on the front lines serving meals, helping the homeless, providing protective equipment to those medical workers who are on the front lines, and they need our help. And so our community is so incredibly generous, and so they have come together in remarkable ways to really benefit those on the front line. According to the Lincoln Village Ministry Development Director, Allison Treffery, they're currently serving 150 families. They applied for the Community Foundation of Greater Huntsville's Emergency Relief Fund to help their residents pay for basic needs. The Huntsville Hospital Foundation realized frontline workers needed additional personal protective equipment while working during the pandemic. Since the coronavirus pandemic hit, there's been a growing number of families on their waiting list. I had 11 calls looking for placement. Since donations are down and their cleaning budget is increasing, Executive Director Tanya Raines applied for the Community Foundation of Greater Huntsville's Emergency Relief Fund. Care Center Executive Director Andrea Bridges says they are the only nonprofit organization that provides free food and financial assistance for the entire Southeast Madison County area. In April, they served 59 more families at their food pantry than they did in February before the coronavirus pandemic. If I go to a parking lot of one of the apartments where our kids live and we only have two kids in that, but there are 30 in the parking lot and this happens every day, every one of those kids will get a meal. On May 5th, Giving Tuesday, Way 31 hosted a half hour special. I'm Way 31 news anchor Dan Schaefer. With all the chaos right now, we wanted to take a moment to share the good going on in our community. Join Way 31 Tuesday night at 6.30 for a Take 5 to Give 5 special with an ending we never saw coming. Did you ever imagine that we would get over $667,000? No idea. In fact, when we first had our conversation about launching this campaign, we were trying to think of a good target. And to go along with the five theme, we said, okay, we'll just shoot for 500000 And I think we all took a deep breath and hoped for the best. And we have been blown away.